Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a live opening of a goodie bag um, and film it. We'll see how it turns out. I'm not sure whether I'll put it up or not, how interesting it will be for people. It's that time of year when some of the online sites offer quite nice goodie bags with minimum purchase spends and I'm quite addicted to these. Uh, I save up the regular products I have to buy so that I can buy them when there is a goodie bag which is generally spring and uh, late autumn beginning of the holiday season. So this one is from Cult Beauty uh, which is a nice website and uh, I do buy quite a few products from there. It was a minimum £100 spend which to be honest is quite easy to knock up these days with staples. Um, I've got in the background the things that I bought to get me to that level. The main one was the Zellin's uh, sunscreen. I will need a sunscreen for the summer. I buy one every year regardless of whether I've used up the previous years um, just to get it new and safe. I haven't tried Zellens before but heard lots of good things about the product range, especially the foundation which I'm dying to try but I've literally got a drawer full of foundations at the moment. I ca cannot fit another foundation bottle in there so I've got to do some using up before I buy another one but uh, I thought I'd splash out on this quite expensive sunscreen but um, I do think it's worth spending on a quality sunscreen especially as at the moment my daily moisturiser is the Sunday Riley Bionic which has no built-in sunscreen. Really loving that product still by the way, definitely will be talking about it in my favourites. Then I also bought the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. I think I talked about a sample I had uh, in, I don't know whether it was a recent goodie bag or with a magazine or whatever, that I really liked. I was surprised by how dark I could go with that sample was, I think, Ebony, which was one of the darkest. Look at this cute packaging, by the way. I really do like it. Um, really, really dinky. Brow powders can be a bit boring. I didn't go for the ebony, I went for ash brown which would be darker than I would normally go kind of on the um, website samples. I have to say these two um, powders are very similar to each other and uh, I, I tried this for the first time day before yesterday and it is a tiny bit dark which is puzzling because it's kind of lowered light down the lighter spectrum than the one I tried. I mean it's wearable uh, especially when I want a lot of definition but it's not quite right. I perhaps will go back and buy one of the lighter ones, um, more obviously for my colouring. Um, but they're not that expensive, so um, it's not a dead loss. I, I will use it, as I say. It's usable. I also bought um, this green balm with yarrow and tea tree um, from an outfit I haven't heard of before, Moa Apoca 3, um, organic, uh, using mainly coconut oil, and soybean oil and sweet almond oil. It has got beeswax in there, which is not great. Um, and it's got tea tree and various other um, essential oils. It was recommended for eczema. I haven't tried it on my foot yet. I have to say, now that I've got it, um, it's quite a heavy pot. It's a very heavy, quite sticky balm. And it does smell very strongly of tea tree, which I'm not that keen on. Um... I don't know, I'm kind of not sure this is going to work at all, but then I haven't really found anything that's been terribly effective on my eczema. Although I have to say my eczema is not that bad at the moment. So anyway, I'll give it a try. Again, it wasn't very expensive. And I also bought a makeup fixing mix by Pixie. I like the Urban Decay um, All Nighter, but I'm getting towards the end of the current bottle. Um, so I thought I'd try this one. Um, looks quite nice. Green tea and rose water. We'll see. Anyway, um, to the <laughs> just blackness on the screen, this is, I'm going to open it just off screen so I don't um, send the iPad flying with my scissors. I literally have not opened this. Um, it's not a huge goodie bag, but then it was a slightly smaller minimum spend than I sometimes have. Oh. There's quite a lot in there. Let's see what we've got. 
We've got a Verso Reviving Eye Mask. Always good for an eye mask uh, with retinol. That's got to be good. Verso I've heard of. They're a um, Scandinavian outfit. Never tried anything, I don't think. Skin Moisturising Hydrogel Mask with Retinol 8 for the eye area. Feels like kind of a pair of spectacles in there, so that'll be quite interesting. Delivers hydration and reverses the signs of ageing, so that's got to be good. Um, I don't mind my eyes too much. I don't think the skin is too aged underneath, but I've got big dark circles. I don't know if it'll do anything with that. Then I've got MV um, Organic Skin Care Pure Ho Hohaba. I never know how to pronounce that. All skins, all ages. This is Australian. This is a, a lightly effective eye cleanser. Oh, that's interesting. So it's an eye makeup remover, organic. Useful size for travelling. It doesn't smell at all. Um, so kind of aluminium bottle, that's quite unusual. So I might take that away with me next week on business. What's this? DNA renewal. Um... Eye renewal. Oh, here we are. This is what I need. Targets dark circles. Works to reduce fine lines and crow's feet. I'm always a bit dubious about eye products that say they can do both of those things. They're quite um, separate things, really. But there we go. Um, definitely need something for my dark circles. Um, that's sealed up at the moment, so I'm not going to take that out of its um, pocket. So... Obviously, majoring on the eye products here. Is this another eye product? This is Goldfaden MD. I have had their samples before. This is called Doctor's Scrub uh, Ruby Crystal Micro Microderm Exfoliator. I'm not keen on kind of crystally exfoliators. And that's surprisingly... Mm, they're quite small, they... Um, the grains there. I tend to prefer. As oh, it smells really delicious. So <laughs> I'm a sucker for a citrus smell, and that's a citrus smell. Well, we'll see. Um, it's a tiny little pot, useful for travel again. And Ren Glycolactic Radiance Renewal Mask. I've had this before. Um, I like it. I don't love it. I'm not sure I'd rush out and buy it, but uh, again, that's useful for traveling um, and. As I say, it, it's um, it's a decent product. Here we are, Zellens, 3T Complex Essential Anti-Aging Cream. Mm, doesn't say any more. That's what we need, presumably a night cream, sealed up, so I can't smell it. Um, but I'm ready for, or I will be ready soon for a travel sample of a night cream because I've been travelling with... Mm, now I've forgotten, it's one of the British uh, organic makes, which I've been quite liking, but nearly finished. So that will be quite good. Here's quite a big Miracle Cleanser by Aurelia Probiotic Skin Care. Miracle Cleanser with Chamomile, Eucalyptus, Rosemary and Bergamot. So they're big on eye products in this selection and big on organic. This is another organic one, nicely sealed. Quite like the packaging of that. Very pretty, um, feminine, peachy pink with black. Don't think I've heard of Aurelia. What nationality? Made in England. Mm, interesting. So, creamy cleanser. Always good to have. Skin Owl Neck Plus. Definitely need a neck cream. Again, I'm getting towards the end of my um, Marks and Spencer, actually, neck cream. I'm terribly bad about remembering to push on neck cream I just tend to push down the face cream a bit further oh this is a gel mm, smells a bit medicinal not wholly pleasant definitely a gel doesn't feel that strong really refreshing rather than moisturizing so a bit dubious about that but again worth a try neck plus super smoothing nothing more about that um Little muslin there, always good. Skin Iceland, blemish dots with salicylic acid uh, for dealing with pimples, presumably. Yeah, little patches. 
to push gently, leave for several hours or overnight for best results. I don't get spots a lot. Uh, having said that, towards the end of last month, beginning of this, I did get two persistent below the mouth um, spots, which I suspect were hormonal, um, but they have healed now completely. Uh, and then finally, this one's in its own little package. Exciting. Oh, Omorovitska, if that's how you say it. The Queen of Hungry Mist. I've heard, read a lot about this. It's quite expensive. They're kind of cult product. Smells very nice. Feels very gentle and soothing. Uh, that's quite a big bottle to try out, 30 ml. Um, so that'd be nice for the summer to have in the handbag as a um, a misting spray. So, um, so a nice little selection there. Um, mostly organic and mostly things I haven't tried before. Uh, even from lines I haven't tried before. As I say, I have tried the Wren mask before and it is a nice mask. And uh, I've had some McFat Gold Fadden MD products before quite liked them. Uh, all the others will be new to me. Excited to try that Zellens moisturiser and quite attracted by that Aurelia packaging. I am a sucker for nice packaging, um, but it'd be nice to try all of them. So I, I, you know, everyone likes a freebie, even if it's not really a freebie because they've got you to spend. And if you've got products that you need to buy anyway, why not buy them when you can get a decent selection of travel sized samples um, to try new products and let's face it convenient for those of us who work away from home a lot so um, I hope that was maybe a little enjoyable for you uh, and I'll let you know how some of these work out as and when I use them until next time bye for now